Your odds of being spotted while hiding behind cover are greatly reduced. Unfortunately, they're not reduced enough because there's another factor, a much larger factor, called fields in immense levels of stupidity that increase the chances of being caught. Right then. Hello, Puscat. Right then. Unfortunately, I have no Puscat with me today with which to uh, make Pussycat comparisons. So we'll just have to go down this elevator and... Um, Go and have a chat with biometrics and ask them exactly why I've been fired. Anyway, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a bit more. Oh, that was Find a memory. And bring him back. That's all that matters. Right, sure. How did this all work again? Oh, yes, I can do that, can't I? Um, sorry, it's been a little while. It's been no longer than it was previously, but it's still been a little while. Um, yeah, I thought that was like a communication coming in from the uh, boss man, but it was not. It was just a memory. Have I been re-entered? Oh, I now have a key card that says the size of a dinner plate. How under the sun? Subject construct facial hand and neural profile. How under the sun did I fit that in my pocket? I don't pocket? think anyone's going to help me out with this. <laughs> no, I shall have to get a bit of work experience to do it myself. Oh well, I put that on my CV afterwards. If nothing else, hello. As uh, finally, I've met someone in uh, high heels that isn't trying to murder me. So that makes a lovely change, isn't it? Right. Why would I want to go in here? Because it just seems like this will loop me around back here again. Is there anything of interest other than a dead person? The most interesting thing of all. Dead corpses. As opposed to live corpses, I suppose, Philip. Well done. Right then. Let's um climb back out now that we've just uh, limbered up a little bit, tested out the uh, various flexibilities of our legs, and um, see what we can find. Alright, presumably this is the machine that's going to um, create a clone of me. It's a bit dark and spooky back there. Don't actually see anything uh, properly spooky, other than more dead bodies. Quite a lot of dead bodies, actually. And what I mistook for a uh, cockroach, but it's in fact just a smudge on the window. Right then. Let me see what I can do with this. It's about make me blind flashing lights like that in my face. Facial profile constructed. Matches deactivated account, Julie Kidman. Reinstating profile. I thought you were going to say, um, matches deactivated account, so we're not going to actually, uh, recreate an account, because you are being naughty and trying to circumnavigate security protocols. Right then, at least we can have a better look around this place now. Not that there's an awful lot to look at, other than a hell of a lot of grunge. But never mind, that looks quite pleasant in there, sort of well lit and happy and cheery, and... Either this is the most subtle spook this game has ever done, or I'm going totally mad. Nope, I'm going totally mad, it's not a subtle spook. I thought that this body was the same body that we saw in that other ventilation job, the one that we went in a minute ago, where we saw that little body uh, next to a vent, but now that I think about it, I think that one was actually pointing in the far direction, it wasn't pointing this way, so... Um, I thought um, a monster had come along and dragged him out of the ventilation shaft when I wasn't looking, but that wasn't the situation. That was a bunch of stupid lies. Right then, let us move on from the stupid lies and move on to something else stupid, because um, I'd rather struggle to do anything else. To be quite frank. Can you hear a sort of a gurgly noise, but like sort of running water? wasn't the button I meant to press, I wanted to turn the light off, which was Q, not F. Idiot. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what just happened, but I don't think it was anything good. Alright, so presumably I need to, um, activate a number of different sorts of machines. Um, 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 well, I'd rather not, actually. I, oh, Goodness. Um. Does anyone have a flamethrower? Alright. Fair enough. 
fair enough. Hi, friends. Hello. You seem lovely. Oh, my kitty aunt. It's like a porcupine from Chernobyl. I might just exude from this location post haste. And I can't fight these kids, right? There was. Oh, gosh. Maybe it's. Good, I can empathize. Um, right. So I can sort of go where I like, so long as I don't make enough noise that it detects me. Kitty, aunt. I want you to see if there's anything hidden in that little extra area. I didn't get to explore the extra areas. Story of my life. Right then, let's just leave this spot for a moment. All right. Good, check wood. That's nice. We're probably not away from the danger, but we're slightly further away from it. And, um, you've got to take what you can... I I might go back up, if I'm, if I'm quite frank. Okay, right. This is going to involve being a little bit tactical and a little bit intelligent, which are two things I'm... I'm not brilliant at, but I will do my best. All right. So they're obviously attracted to noises, so perhaps I can use that to my advantage. I found like a bottle or something, I can throw it in order to lure them away. That would probably be quite effective against them. Okie dokie, that don't get you aunt. There's one right there. There's another one! Is there actually any competent reason for me to be here? Or am I just being an absolute moron by coming over here? No, I think I'm just displaying another level of moronism. Okay then. I'd like to try and sneak past you, but I think you're going to notice me. Ah, oh, this is a little too close. Luring enemies. Frankly, I don't want the enemies any closer to me than they already are. But, you know... Why, seriously, why would I want to lure the enemies towards me? Oh, because I need to lure him away from that gate, is that what you're saying to me? Alright. I shall see what I can do. Oh, giddy aunt just as soon as I've gone up here. Get away from this little porcupine team creature. Alright. Oh look, another uh, puzzle thing. What's this? Oh dear, I have a horrible feeling I know what this is. Yes, this is a game of light sour, or whatever this game is called. Um, uh, dear. I'm not very good at these, but I'm gonna follow a kind of Well that didn't work, did it? I thought I saw a pattern, but I didn't. Oh dear, this is embarrassing. Small children can play this quite successfully, and I can't. Um, uh, give, give me a minute. Hooray! While pressing buttons wildly for a few minutes, I managed it. Still don't quite know what the purpose of all that is, but... Uh, we shall see what we can do. Alright then, now that we've got a bottle, this might go a little bit easier, because I don't have to lure them towards me, I can lure them towards another location. So, let me... Yes, I still got my bottle. Good, haven't lost that yet. Alright. You're going to be a pain in my neck, aren't you? What I'm going to do... is throw this, except I can't throw it while I'm crouched, because that's annoying. I'm going to stand over here, and then hit it there. Oh, and accidentally look inside this poor woman's cranium. I apologise for that. There we are. Now can I please sneak through here? There we are. Alright, I reckon we are something vaguely resembling safe. Alright, what do we have here? Do I need to use this at all? Um, oh no, I need to use this. I apologise. I was being a bit too rude one there. Alright, any more of them in there? Not that I can see, no. way of operating a door, but never mind. Um, presumably this place was designed for very short people, given that all of the doors seem to be about two feet high, but alright. Alright, let me turn the light back on, because I don't think it's of much... I don't think it's of much concern to do that. Oh, do I need to go through, like, the second gap? Or, like, another gap appear here? A bit like that. 
I have no idea how I'm surviving this, but somehow I am. I'm not going to survive that though if those two don't calm down. Let me, oh, kitty, oh, let me try and get in this little alcove here on the side. For, um, for no good reason. What? Enter cover. Oh, right, sorry, I thought there was like a, a grate above me I could go through. Alright, maybe, oh, gosh. I really don't want to get caught in that. Okay, they just seem to be like patrolling on a little sort of circular course. So if I follow this guy, I should be able to slip around. Which reminds me of the final Riddler room in Arkham City, actually. We, uh, Except that encountered slightly fewer dead ends. Idiot. That was a bit too close for comfort. I've also just realised they've got shoes on. Which is a bit concerning. I don't know if I can quite show you this. Um, wait for this one to come back around again. Look, they've got little shoes on. Oh dear. <laughs> oh man, they remind me of the centaurs, actually, from, uh, from Fallout. Three in Vegas. Where do I want to send you? Um, do I want to like get you? A oh, there's a ladder there, which means I need to kind of lure you away somehow, which is going to be very difficult. I'm going to stand over here and throw that over there. And then realize there isn't enough ladder here, and then get blown to bits. Well, that was an eventful little five-second spat of our life, wasn't it? <laughs> Alrighty then, where are we going back to? We're going back to the bit with all the fun doors again. Alrighty then. So, where am I to go if not through, or well, not up that ladder? Um, I'm a little confused by that. There must be another um, entrance somewhere. I did see there was another little gate that opens, like on that side there, which means we're going to see the other side of that little yellow cart. So perhaps it would be more advantageous to be in there. So let me see if this thing will open back up again before that guy walks into my bum. Come on, squeeze through, squeeze through, squeeze through. Hit faster would be nice. Okay, right, this area seems safe. Another bottle again. Um... Oh, I move this, can I? Is doing that going to cause an absolute infernal racket? That's not the direction I wanted to push that. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. So, what we've learned is that they blow up on impact. They have a lot of, um, like, uh, what do you call them? Pimples on them that are very sensitive. I don't just mean that they easily get offended by things like here on the internet. And uh, then they sort of blow up a bit when you get a bit too close for comfort. Right then. So, um, I think pushing that box in order to kill that first one will allow me to jump up a little bit that will mean I can get close enough to the ladder that I can actually um, actually climb up. So I'm going to do that again and then I'm going to realise that running is a monstrously stupid thing to do. Despite... Di Despite the good reason for being expeditious, there is also very good reason for being alive, given that when you're alive, you can do stuff, and when you're dead, you sort of can't. Unless you're a ghost, of course, in which case you do maintain some level of dexterity beyond the grave. Right then. This isn't going very well. Give me a moment, and I'll, um, I'll get us up that ladder. By hook or by crook, I'll get us up that ladder. I am wondering about a something. Could I use this bottle to blow him up? Because it would cause an impact, wouldn't it? Well, maybe, but you know. In order to test that theory, you'd have to be able to aim. And I can't. So, you know, there's that little problem. There's that little stumbling block on the way to that theory. Right then. Let me just move myself through here, and then we'll climb up here and cut the ladder and be free of these little demon creatures forever and always. 
Hopefully. Giddy on. You really had to go through a little, um... A little parkour event in order to uh, get yourself fully... What? Oh. In order to get yourself fully sorted out in this biometric lab, didn't you? Alright, presumably this will complete my profile and then I can use my profile to, um... Access that ladder. I'm getting brain scans. Yes, yes, yes. Insubordination. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Whatever. I should be able to open those doors now. Presumably, um, the sort of insubordination that says that uh, we shouldn't have these little demon porcupines running all over the place, but they were the boss's favourite pet, and he decided to sack me for it. Whoopty frickin' doodle. Right Kim, then. Julie, you've assembled quite the resume, I see. They taught you to read at the police academy? I'm impressed. Your attitude won't be necessary today. What is this place? Why am I here? You've been arrested, Miss Kidman. And you're currently being detained. I'm sure even you could decipher that. That's not what I asked. This isn't a regular interrogation room. They don't give you cushy chairs when you're about to be sent to lockup. No current address. On your own since 14, a runaway it seems. Quite impressive you've made it this long without coming to your senses. If your street smarts are that keen, I'd imagine you'd have turned yourself around by now. It's more about survival. You think I'm pissed I got caught? At least I get free food in jail. It's all good to me. What if I told you that today could be different for you? You're a smart kid, you've got nothing to lose, no one to miss you. A person with those qualities could be open to very specific opportunities. What are you saying? You offering me a get out of jail free card or something? Not quite that, but something close. I'm listening. It reminds me of when that woman comes to uh, invite people into the Suicide Squad when they're in Arkham Asylum. Right then, well that answers the question about that juvenile uh, record, police record that we saw um, at the beginning of the game. Uh, that seemed to uh, show that somebody was being a right little whippersnapper. And it seems that uh, that right little whippersnapper was in fact me, myself and I. Alrighty then. Now, hopefully, get out of here without any more little demon porcupines trying to badge my face off. Or more specifically, trying to explode my face off. But never mind, I'm going to press this button. Yes, I and. You saw nothing! <laughs> How in the name of Rubik, Rubik's right testicle did I survive that? I don't know, but I doubt I'll survive this. I saw the light on that. That's weird. I didn't see that before. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just step out of this. Ouch. Hello, Puzzcat. I had better save, had I not. Need a bit of, um... Need a bit of physical affection in order to calm me down. Um... Was I supposed to just sidestep that guy and just dance into the elevator like that? Or was I, um... Was I supposed to, like, run away and hide and then sort of lure him away and, you know, do something sort of competent rather than, um... rather than being an idiot? One doesn't know. And one will never know, because one isn't going to go back through that again. Okie dokie, then. Let's see where we can go now. Oh, okay, we can go through here. This is where we saw the detective and Joseph going, isn't it? Hopefully we see more of Joseph, because, um... I, um... I have a poor joke to tell about Joseph, and I keep forgetting to use it, despite the fact that we're 15 episodes into this frickin' game. But never mind. I just haven't had the right opportunity, right? I'm waiting for the perfect opportunity to utterly disappoint you with my horrifically terrible joke. Is there, um, anything of interest or excitement over here? There's less reason to sort of look around in, uh, in, in this DLC, because there aren't, like, um, matches or bullets. Or, uh, or anything like that to really search around for beyond these sort of uh, pages of letters and things like um, like this one. Oh, I have to do 
Uh, and it seems like an easier game than the last one. Presumably there's some sort of sequence to this. <laughs> and it's not just, no, it's not just a case of getting them all lit up. I thought that was a little bit too easy. Alright then. Presumably uh, somewhere there's like a... There's somebody dropping a baking tray on the floor and thus making a large mess of all of those cookies they were making. Um, presumably there's like a little picture that shows a sort of a, a combination or a pattern of different lights that um, I can use in order to work that out. The question is where it is. I do not see it. I do see the ghost of an office chair, however, so that's nice. Always good to know that it's not just human beings that get to enjoy being reincarnated. I heard a funny noise there. Um, but I don't... Ooh. Hold on to one's horses for a moment. So when I'm not shining at that, there's all of them up. And then there's that. Right then. Because I, um... Because it's rather cold in here, and my fingers are a little numb, I'm going to take a photograph of that rather than making a rubbish drawing. So, um... You'll forgive me for being quite so technologically advanced, and, uh... Let's see if we can do this. Right then, I'm going to presume that the, um... I'm going to presume that I don't actually know if that's the second or the third one. I'm going to presume that the uh, spots that are red are the sort of the lit up bits, as it were. Uh, let me see. I'll that one off. That one off. Is that right? No, it's not, is it? Because that uh, should be that one. There we are. Get it. Is that the fourth piece? Yes, it is. Okay, I don't think I've actually managed to miss any of those yet, which is rather impressive, uh, given how much I usually miss things. Uh, as the uh, map in the first, uh, or in the main game rather, proved rather effectively. I always get disappointed that you can't open these cupboards. I don't know what I expect to find in it, because there's, there's no sort of uh, collectibles or reusables, but uh, never mind any of that rubbish. Alright then, we've sorted that out. Is there anything over on the other side? Anything over here? I think there's... I was going to say, there's no bad guys here, because that moves for a lovely change, and I can just sit down, and relax, and have a fun time playing a video game. And then some sort of creepy lunatic person had to start giggling and cackling, just to sort of ruin the illusion that we were safe. To really ruin the illusion that we're safe. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything here at all. Um, no, not one thing. There is, however, some blood. So that's nice. Um, I didn't mean to cover. I was rather hoping I could sort of vault over it, but no such luck. All right, then. anything uh, hidden back here? No, they even put little guards up to stop you from going under the staircase, to stop you from uh, attempting to explore in that way again. Hello, hello, friends. It's a nice touch because it makes you um, sort of realise all these things that happened in the um, in the main game. You were a lot closer to what I thought were severed feet, but in fact are just bare feet next to dark bodies that are the same colour as the floor. Um, how much sort of closer you were? How much closer you were to Kidman? A, 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 a lot more than you ever realised. And I don't mean emotionally. All right then. Um. Um. What is this? Patients emerging from the stem are becoming more erratic. The pathologies seem to be amplified by the experience now. Even worse, patients now seem to experience each other's psychological trauma. It's as if the user's deepest fears linger within the encephalon of the system, even after the session is over. The most concerning thing are their most recent statements. Every single patient claims to see a hooded figure slowly approaching them. Could it be him? His consciousness existing as a ghost in the system? My curiosity has never been piqued like this. I want to know. I want to see what they see. But it's too risky. For now. Goodness. I never really got the opportunity to um, 
to notice it while playing the um, while playing the main game. But Hermenes' voice actor is extremely professional. Right then. Uh, yeah, so he's obviously there talking about like setting up the stem system after uh, Rufik has somehow been implanted into the system, one way or another. And uh, although he's not meant to be on the system, it seems like his mind is still influencing it. Which, frankly, shouldn't really surprise anybody after you've literally hooked somebody's brain into a computer. But, um, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, oh good! We're going to perform some corporate espionage for Google. Or from Google, perhaps. Or one or the other. One or the other, maybe both. Who knows? Um, is there actually anything of consequence in here? Other than a lot of lights that reminded me of the Borg. But never mind, I doubt the Borg have a server like that. They don't really seem as if they're uh, that interested in the cloud. Okie dokie. I was about to say, this is taking a while and making me suspicious that I'm going to have to dodge an enemy while... An we do error this. Has wait while power is no, this is the bit where I have to hide. I had better... Oh, I can still turn my light on and off while I'm in here. That's cool. Hi, friend. Do you mind if I just sort of maneuver me bum out of here? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. It's a very cross creature. That's nice. I'm so glad that we're so nearly, very nearly done. Where the hell is it? There it is. It's too close for comfort is what it is. Ouch, ouch, ouch. It's like it's burning me with its light. Okay. Right. The, the problem is, is it moves quite a lot faster than I do when I'm crouched. Please run. Please. Ow. It's like it's got this big sort of flashes overcoat on and just kind of opens it up. And you do see something horrific, as with the flasher, but you see something slightly worse, which is, you know, <laughs> death. Basically, the more of death opening up to envelop you. Right then. I actually need to be a little bit more careful with this. Kitty aunt. Um, I'm going to begin by being as far away from that creature as humanly possible. Then I'm going to turn the light off, and then I'm going to do a bit of thinking. Okay. Oh, maybe I could lure as well. Maybe I could use that to my advantage. Okay, where is it? It's over there. Power restoration at twenty percent. Okay, I just need to stay on the like the far side of the room, to where it is. As long as I do that, I'll be fine. Did you just hear it say Leslie? In a kind of a husky voice. Most mysterious. I apologize if it didn't come through very well on the recording. It's so difficult to know whether you can hear these things or not when I'm yammering over everything. I do apologise! I just have such an irrepressible urge to yammer! <laughs> oh dear, I dare oh it. Thank goodness for that. Okay, it's hiding over there in that corner for the moment. When I say hiding, I mean I'm the one hiding and it's the one standing around. Okay, wrong button. Where is it? Is it, is it better? That's an awfully masculine voice for somebody wearing stockings. Right then. Oh, that's, that's not a 21st century statement I make, and I apologise. I didn't mean to be uncouth. Where is it? Okay, it's around the back there. It's a hell of an image, isn't it? This seems to be going alright. Yeah, would you like to walk through the electricity and get yourself zapped? Okay, it seems to be doing more of the zapping itself, which is a little unusual. Alright! I'm so happy! Has the monster gone? Oh, giddy aunt. No, no, it definitely has not. Oh, giddy aunt! I'm not here! That was a shadow you saw. It wasn't me. It was a cardboard cutout. Giddy aunt. Maybe I should just run. She's very stable on her feet for wearing high heels, isn't she? 
Our workplace is a fine place because of your support. Right then. That's that done. We only died once, which frankly is a uh, impressive survival rate for me. Oh dear. Okay. Deep breath. Relax. Reset. And then worry about what that funny noise was. Oh, we're here again. Hooray, we can go back to my interview room. I would so love to remain there. Alright, presumably we want to go that way, because A, there's a green light next to the door, and there's also a, uh, a light shining on it. But, um... Before we do that, I want to wander around uh, the other side and just see if there's any other doors that I can go through. Probably not. There definitely isn't over here. Unless we can go through here. Which we can't. We shall have to go this way instead. It's like being in Star Trek. Okie dokie then. Um, let's see what the next demon it wishes to fire into my face looks like. Also, can you see a funny effect on the uh, on the wall there? Almost like there's water dripping down? That's mysterious. Um, oh, there literally is water dripping down. Oh, I see. That answers that question. Oh, there's uh, Joseph and the detective again. Being, uh, being a lot more competent than I was when I was in charge of them. Turns out it only took uh, the uh, computing power of an entire game development team to create a brain more intelligent than mine. Hello, friends. What's going to happen? Oh, come on, something better happen. Nothing happened. Um, okay, uh, that was a little bit. I was expecting something now, unless you want to like, shine the light or something. I can't go through this door. Oh, I can. I can click on it. What? Why did Joseph see me then? He was looking right at me. Okay, make it convincing. What? Detective! I'm here! I'm safe! Sebastian! Joseph! Mobius. So they sent you to take the boy back. You trust them. Don't kid yourself. It's kind of in the name. You're just as expendable as your partners are. As I was. After all I did for them. We'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Um, are you alright? Suddenly things begin to make sense. Really still a bit more sense. Also, Joseph seems to have aged by about 20 years. <laughs> he didn't have those lines on his face when I was playing the game. I mean, I appreciate that was many months ago, but seriously. And they've been a rough few months, but still. Do you wish to remain in the dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you? No. No, that sounds very cool. That sounds very exciting. I would, um, I would like to hear some stuff about that. Right there, sorry about that. Okay, well that was interesting. Um, interesting to see how it's sort of linked up. Um, doesn't really explain how Kidman got in that box in the first place, but never mind. Since it's all just a higgledy-piggledy-hodgepodge of random Ruvik thoughts, I've kind of given up on trying to explain how people get from A to B, because it seems like Ruvik just snaps his fingers like Q, and suddenly it all happens. Right then. Let's see what happens, uh next, because if I remember correctly, uh, after that bit of the game, we kind of had a a little bit of game where all three of us were together, um, fighting and so forth, so, um, am I going to go through that again? Joseph! If I remember Joseph! correctly, Kidman had a Shit. gun at that point, where did he go? which would be nice to have, but somehow I doubt it. All well, right, then. He'll just have to fend for himself. Gotta keep on track. Find Leslie. There is a big hole in the ceiling, but I can't actually look up far enough in order to, um, in order to see. Will you turn the light on, please? Thank you. Okay, then. So it seems like, yeah, we are having a slightly different whack at this. Um, there's a thing here. There is a little gap. A little cleft, if you like, if that's not the wrong word to use. Hi, friend. Hello. How are you today? You weirdly haven't noticed me, which seems to be the, due to the fact that you haven't got any eyes. You might have one. Or half of one. 
should I stop standing around like some sort of dunce and actually get on with the game instead of screwing around? All right then. Let me um. Hang on a second. Oh, the light has like a neck. The flashlight has a kind of neck. Oh, it's on like a little hinge, so I can like put it on my belt and it shines forward. That's really cool. Sorry, I shouldn't probably be that excited about a hinge, but you know. I apologise, but these sorts of random inventions sort of interest me. Oh, hang on. Get the impression you were the wrong people. Ruvik, he knows I'm here. I think he knows everything, doesn't he? He's kind of all seeing. Um idiot. And all mess making as well. Um Yes. So it seems like they just They just sort of used Ruvik to create the system. Oh no. Hard enough defeating those invisible creatures when I could fight them. There is an axe over there, however. That I did not know that I could do. So by focusing the light, I can see where they are. Alright then. Seems monstrously dangerous to go over there, so I'm not. I'm going to break this. Make a load of noise and achieve nothing. Excellent. <laughs> and then there was the second bit of violence that achieved nothing. Oh, kitty art. Okay, so they can still sort of notice me uh, in a vaguely. in a vaguely standard format. Hello, vaguely standard format. And I might run over here as quickly as humanly possible and grab this big walloping axe. Right, sneak kills, sneak kill while sneaking. Ah, there was me thinking I did a sneak kill while standing on the stage at Glastonbury. Instantly kill an enemy with an axe. Axe is consumed upon use. Using the axe, instantly kill enemies who are unaware of you are uh, from behind. Sneak kill does not work on some enemies. All right. So I need to, I'm sorry, what? A Grammy? Y you have unlocked a new music track. Oh good, I hope it's Count Basie. You can just do it on them. That's nice, thank you. I've got slightly bigger things to worry about at the moment. Like, you know, not dying to this fine fella. Oh dear. Oh, I've been kissed. I don't remember consenting to that. I need to sort of get away from him. Hello, baby. I need to sort of get away from him long enough to regenerate my health. Can I go through here, please? Thank you. Can I get in cover? There we are. Uh oh, Kitty. Is he following me through here? He would seem to be, yes. At least I think he is. It's a little difficult to tell. Right. Okay. He's there, but I don't think he can get me. So what I'm going to do is run away like a big brave boy. Far enough away that he uh, sort of loses track of me. Okay, good. It looks like he's vanished now. Okay, so if I sneak with occasional little bit of use of the light... Okay, there he is. I just need to get up behind him and do a little bit of violence. First bit of violence we've done in ages! I look forward to it. Right. It's the button for murder. That's the button for murder. It is most enjoyable. Oh, I've got blood in my hair. That's going to take ages to get that out. Crying out loud. All right, then. Um, right. Okay, so there are some sort of collectibles in this game. Um, I didn't realise that. That's nice to know. Okay, then. Uh, let's move very swiftly on and realise that that was probably just the tutorial and it's suddenly about to become a lot harder. Okay. We could go through that door or we could go through that one. Hmm. I hear noises. Spooky noises. But I don't see anybody. I'm going to go through this door, I think. There we are. 
Again, I probably should be being vaguely discreet. There's another axe here. I wish to have this, please. Where is he? I hear him, but I do not see him. Is he... Is he... Is he where is he? I can hear him, but I can't see him. There's no puddles for him to step in either, which makes this even more difficult. Okay, I don't think he's over here. He must be, like, on the far side of the room over there. Because otherwise I would have seen him by now with the lights. Giddy, onto there he is. You didn't see nothing. I probably shouldn't be shining a light in your face now that I think about it. I keep muddling up C and Crouch. Uh, C and Control, even, for Crouching. Hello. Giddy, aunt. I'm getting a bit of a, um... Sort of a, 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 almost a kind of a Medusa vibe off them, with like all of the like the, 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 the rivaling tentacles coming off their face. Um, yes, that's, 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 that's a rather concerning. Where is he? He should have passed by by now. Maybe he has, and I just haven't realised. Hello? Where are you, friend? Seriously, where the hell is he? I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to sneak back. I'm going to go out the other door. Because uh, this, there's absolutely no way on earth this could go wrong. Or right, if there's nobody out here. Little kitty out here. I said this wouldn't go very well. Um, I don't think I should... I need to be behind them, don't I? Not round the corner from them. This isn't Arkham. We can't do a corner takedown. Okay. Right, should we have another go at that? <laughs> oh, it amazes me that after all these hours I'm still dreadful at this. Alright. The thing is, is, I can't see him until I kind of expose myself. Which is a little concerning. Alright, come on. Where are you? Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I've got a little present for you. It's an axe and it's got your name on it. Idiot. Why does he keep going in all the wrong directions? It's very, very annoying. Do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to try something. I have no idea if he's coming around this corner or not. Okay, he's just gone by. I'm going to leave the cup up. And now he's going to see me. I thought he'd gone by. I thought he didn't happen to like me, so he passed me by. But he didn't. And it didn't work. Alright, he's going that way. So now I should go this way. Ha! I have circumnavigated him. In fact, I can't be bothered to deal with him any longer, so I'm getting through this door here. Dear, dear, dear. He just seems to be, like, patrolling back and forth, and every time I, uh... Oh, this is a place I can hide in here. Every time I try to get behind him, he's turned around again. It's most frustrating and irritating. But, uh, never mind any of that. There's some knives here. You'd think I'd take them with me. But, no. No, no, of course not. Oh, I thought the door opened. It didn't. I do apologise. I'm jumping at shadows. Um, is there anything of consequence in here? There's another tape. Okay, that gives me a moment to relax. Something else is even more harrowing. Our subjects are dying. They come out from a stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic, babbling, incoherent messes that we can't properly interview. We've done nothing to the process to cause this change. It must be the ever-growing collective consciousness of the stem system. These patients seem unable to take the strain of exposure. We need more sane subjects, perhaps to cleanse the system. At its current state, the system is unsustainable. Something Mobius will not approve of. This time, only I am to blame for this. Our new prototype and beacon is almost ready. When it is, I will start its conversion to the wireless system. Even if the original STEM experiments go awry, I will show my worth to Mobius with its next generation. Indeed. Presumably we've got the Jean-Luc Picard at the front of it. Alright then, so that's interesting. So that explains um, a lot actually. That explains Leslie, 
because I, without being a psychologist, I think I can relatively safely say that he was in a catatonic state, babbling incoherently. Um, that sounds vaguely like Leslie, so uh, that at least explains his situation. Um, the need for sane subjects perhaps explains why individuals like the, um, the detective and Joseph were dragged into the whole thing, and the fact that there's some form of a wireless system, which uh, is most strange. Um, that also explains how they were actually able to get Joseph and the detective hooked up to the thing without hooking them up to it, if that makes any sense at all. Alright then, so it seems like this room is just a room for the opportunity to do an additional collectible. Alright, I have got to somehow get rid of this kid, because I need to activate that little, uh, that little wheel. Alright, okay, there, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. If I'd stop banging into the filing cabinets for five minutes. I need to activate that little wheel on the left hand side there, so what I need to do is get behind him. I just really wish he'd stop being such a pain in my bottom. There we are. That's better. I should have said pain in the neck, because then I could have said I was repaying him. Made a stupid joke. That would have been funny. Yeah, right. Okay then, well with him out of the way at least, we can go through here. And enter what looks like a sewer. Because my hair was already mucky enough as it is. Right then, let's do some more violence. Which achieves nothing. Excellent. <laughs> can't see, I'm like a broken record. Anything of interest in there? No, just various bits of detritus. Alright then. I like the stuff I'm about to crawl into, which definitely isn't detritus. Okay, at least it's not very deep. Oh, kitty, I hear another one. I hear another one of these spooky pooky people. I do not see them, but I do hear them. I hear the pitter patter and the splish and splash of their little feet. Um, that's obviously where I'm meant to go. But I'm wondering if there's anything up here first, such as an axe, for example. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything here other than the infinite inky void of falling down. Dear, 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 dear. Shall we have another way to go? Was there a man down there? No. No, I don't think so. I just thought um, I thought that little orange detection segment thing that appears on the screen when you're sort of about to be detected by an enemy. I thought it appeared when I walked past here, which made me think that there was somebody waiting for me in this, um, in this tube. Yeah, you can see it just there on her shoulder. But, um, there doesn't actually seem to be any... Well, good afternoon. Well, okay. Seems I spoke a little too soon. I also slightly misidentified the monster that was trying to maul me. Perhaps I should be more careful in future. Okay, then. This, um... This... This is pleasant. I mean, by comparison to everything else we've had in this place, it is pleasant, because it's not covered in blood. So, you know, there's that to be happy for. I spoke too soon about the blood again, didn't I? Please tell me I don't... I was going to say, please tell me I don't have to deal with another water monster. No, I have to deal with something slightly worse. Am I going to get involved in this or not? Well, this is this, this, this should be good fun. All right. Well, I'm glad that I'm involved in this. It seems I may need to reload at some point. I need to prep myself for additional the battle. Giddy aunt. It's been so long since I've actually shot anything in this game. I've forgotten how. I must reload. Kindly back up a little bit, friend. Thank you. Very much. 
Alright, perhaps I can use those guys tactically. Like, if I get one of them near uh, some sort of villainous cad, I can blow it up when they're nearby in order to kill him, like I should have done with this guy, and he failed miserably too, because I'm a dunce. I think I'd shoot her as well, but you know. I want to save her for the end, so that I get real pleasure out of killing her. Um, it's a strange place. Good thing I've got plenty of bullets for this. Um, let's just try and slow him down a little bit. Oh, kitty out. Little too close for comfort there, my friend. I think I'm alive. I'd be, I'd be open to being convinced otherwise, but I think I'm still alive. That's what I wanted, a nice little chain reaction. Just like that. Hi, 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 friend. Do I need to shoot you now? Because I happily will. Well, that was convenient. Well, at least you've got the good sense to keep it with you. More than I can say of most horror game protagonists. Leslie's down here. I doubt he'll last long. I've got to find him. I'm not sure I'll last long, my friend. Okay, well that was an interesting change of pace, wasn't it? Um... Goodness. <laughs> oh, I doubt we're going to find a nice friendly uh, cat and an uh, armchair to sit in in order to save down here, but hope does spring eternal. Perhaps we'll find one somewhere. Perhaps it was down here chasing sewer rats. Okay, that was nice. I rather enjoyed that, actually. Can I go up here? I don't know if this is the place I should be going, but I do want to have a little poke around. Um, oh, there is a sneakiness here. What sort of combination am I looking for? I'm looking for a nut. Well, this doesn't seem very difficult. Surely I can just do this. If there's only one dial, this seems like the easiest safe in the world to crack. But maybe there's something a little bit more to it than I realise. Um... Yes, there clearly is, because spinning it around didn't work. So uh, there must be a little bit more. Um... Oh, it's one of those combinations. Alright, that I can deal with. Um, so let me... Uh, let. Oh, I can't really take a photograph of this, because I can't get it all on the screen at the same time. Right, sorry, but I didn't mean to yell into the microphone like that. Okay, give me a moment uh, to get this sorted out, and then we'll carry on. Right, two Wikipedia pages, one IGN article, and a YouTube video later, and we figured out what it is. So you don't turn it to the left 11 times and then to the right 24 times, you turn it to the left until you get 11, then you keep turning it right until you get to 24, then you keep turning it to the left until you get 14. You're just looking to reach that number, that isn't showing you the number of movements you have to make. Right. That took an embarrassingly long time. But never mind, we have the letters now. Whatever stupid point they serve. Right then, um... Where are we actually going from here? Are we going along here, or is this whole area just for collectibles? I think this whole area is just for the sake of that collectible. And now I've run out of oxygen. Again. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. What also didn't help is that in the video I was looking at, they had different numbers. They really had 5, 27, and 14 instead of these numbers. So I don't know whether maybe they're slightly randomly generated. I can... I mean, I wouldn't think that they would be, because surely that would be weird and silly. But then at the same time, why would it vary across, like, platforms? Why would you have a different number in, like, the PlayStation version compared to the PC version? That just would make no sense whatsoever to me. But, um, never mind none of that. Spookalicious. All right then. Let's hope that there is a um a sweet cat up here, so that we may have another wee save. There is a sweet cat, and it is eating its dinner. 
seems to be eating quite a lot of dinner, actually, in a, in a rather demonic way. Please, please, don't do that. All right, um, this all looks like fun on a Christmas bun, but this will wait for next week. Because I think we've been through um, more than enough. I'm slightly afraid this cat is going to eat me in my sleep. But never mind the cat eating me in my sleep. Let's just... Um, let's just be quite impressed about how um, how much variety it's putting in this. Um, I wouldn't have expected it to be able to pull off a little combat scene like that quite as effectively um, as it did. But uh, it did a nice job of it. And it was nice to um, shoot that stocking headed creature in the thigh as uh, payback for it eating me with its chest. Which um, I suppose there are worse things to be eaten. With. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to have a think about that and get back to you next week. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm very much enjoying this lovely different change of pace and uh, nice to get another uh, angle on the story, as it were. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Look, uh, thank you for. I. It has been quite a few days since I've actually recorded anything due to impending exams. So. Um, I've kind of forgotten what I'm supposed to say at this point. Um, thank you very much for joining me this evening, ladies and gentlemen look after each other and you think after 675 videos I remember how to say this but never mind um good night <laughs>